<coughs> what up guys, this is Boom Lord 291. I am here with another Guardians of the Galaxy video. I haven't made this in a long while. Sorry, I kind of got sidetracked with all the other stuff. Alright, well, let's begin. Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future, you'll use your words instead of your fists. I will, Mom. I promise. Thank you, baby. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. See what happens next. You're nearly there, Peter. Oh, well, straight off the bat. <laughs> I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Another headache? Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. Didn't look like a little headache. Nothing I can't handle. Especially with you looking out for me. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I'll be a perfect little angel, like always. Hmm. I better hurry back then. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? <sighs> oh, she's not doing so well. I'm sorry to hear that, Pete. Well, I'm sure this is gonna make her feel a lot better. Music's got some powerful mojo. <laughs> Both sides? All right. Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I can smell it. Hey, Petey! You make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> I made it for your mom. Watch it, or you'll be swallowing your own teeth. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls. Hey, 
How's that lip doing? Give me that. Nope. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Yeah, maybe she'll get lucky and find a quarter. Screw you! Aww, I heard Petey's little feelings. You gonna go cry to mommy? Have her change your diapers? Because your daddy definitely can't. You gonna cry now? Huh? You done yet? I promise, Elephant I made a promise. Theaters? You must get great reception with those things. Nah, I'm not done. But your mom? She sure is. My dad goes drinking with her doctor. Told him everything. Guess she didn't feel like it was important enough to tell you. <laughs> oh, check it out! Dead woman walking! What's the point? Drugs ain't gonna help. My dad says you're gonna die anyway. My mom's gonna be fine. She just needs the right medicine. Get her some poison. At least then she won't be wasting money trying to get better. <laughs> get out! My dad's gonna- Out! You kept your promise. You didn't fight that jerk. I'm proud of you, Peter. Even though I didn't set a very good example. The things he said. I let my emotions get the better of me. Clarence is an idiot. I don't care what he says. You were real strong there, kiddo. He said you were dying, Mom. Is that true? Find me, please. Oh, great. You're so close, Peter. Feeling. Hmm. Temple is really messing with my head. Hello, Careful, Gamora. Pete, you might get killed. Ah! Whoa! Hey, come on! Come on what? what are you doing? You can do better than that. Not Nebula. It's me, Peter, who you like a whole lot and definitely <laughs> do not want to kill. <laughs> come on, this isn't fair. I don't have a sword. To be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over, every single day. Be patient, Nebula. You'll get your chance soon enough. So now I need patience, too? Ah! <laughs> 
Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. Interesting little scrimmage. That was actually a little impressive. <laughs> Just a little. I can't. Gamora, you're hurting me. Um, nah, I let her win. She could use a victory. Nebula, you have grown so much. Father. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> hmm. I do. She's come a long way. What a pleasant surprise. Perhaps being bested by your sister recalled the importance of humility. I oh, have shut a up, Thanos. For you. You're dead. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora. You were always my favorite. But you have become cold, distant, forcing me to look to Nebula to tighten the slack. We will not disappoint you, father. But you already have, Gamora. Oh, shut Otherwise. Up. You would not be taking Nebula with you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care. But if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. <sighs> Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father... He didn't look happy. <sighs> Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Yep. This is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> Don't worry, Nebula. I've got your back. No. I've got to do this myself. It's what I've been training for. I won't let Father down. Let's just do this. All right. Uh, I assume this is when their fallout happens. familiar device.
Nebula! Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! Father will be so upset with me. I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Father... Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Why Do refuse? It. I mean, we kind of did Come took her right. kill. Fine. Here. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. Betrayal. Slap fight, I do it. I was trying to snap you out of it before you killed me. Well, that's <laughs> not the way to do it. Well, apparently it was. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop slapping me. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uncle, uncle. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, I was... Yeah, I, uh, I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I've been trying not to think of that day. Because I really want to fix things with Nebula. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish, taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. And why she'll never forgive what I did. I saw what happened. You were just trying to protect her. You can't blame yourself for that. I'm not so sure. That last hmm. moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. There were times we were happy, despite Thanos, despite everything. We had each other. Maybe, maybe I could have done more. It's not your fault, Gamora. Been more I believe Thanos. I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. I know you, Gamora, and I know you tried your absolute best to protect her. Nebula can't see that, then that's her problem, not yours. Is it? Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred, that coldness, her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. Listen to me. You didn't fail her. You don't fail at anything. You are the strongest person I know, okay? 
And I respect the hell out of you for that. And I don't just mean the ass kicking. I mean, believe me, you kick some serious ass. I do kick a lot of ass, huh? Hell yeah, you do. <laughs> Good one, Pete. Come on. Let's figure out why the forge brought us here before things get even more. Weird. What? Oh, man. My mom loved this song. She played that record non stop. Peter, wait. This place. It seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside, or why it's been drawing us here. Gamora, my mom could be in there. I need to do this. All right, Peter. I'm with you. Recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom. Uh, this is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Thanks for, uh, for understanding. She's your family. Your real family. I know how much she means to you. <laughs> We're back at the church. I Yep, loud music playing. Faster, walk faster. That's weird. so painful. Are you okay? Yes. Now that you are here, not your mom, right? Definitely not. <laughs> you... you came for me. After all these... Ooh, what are these? They're very shiny. Hey, over here. <sighs> Peter Quill. Really here. It's been <laughs> centuries. No, millennia. You were the uh. first. The only. 
How do you know who I am? I, I would say we I would put met. A, but <laughs> nah, that's a little too much. But I was not me. I am called Mantis. Sure. What? I have another one. I have another one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was shooting the box. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, now I wonder what if we didn't give her the welcome? gun. <laughs> It is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. Though perhaps not in the classical sense. What? What? <laughs> you must have many questions for me. Take your time. Why were you locked in here? So that you could find me. Not very helpful. Not very helpful. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the celestial one. That you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could. Through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand. I had no control over them. I... Yes, you should be proud of freeing me. I no longer have to stare into the infinite crushing darkness. It was so boring. How could you <laughs> possibly so know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Stay out of my head. Watch. Uh, all right. Peter Quill is filled with worry about you. He likes when you hit people. Is that right? <laughs> all right. Do it again. Do it again. Come on. With great pleasure. Oh, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> all right. Let's see. What to think? What was think? Oh, you know something but <laughs> a dirty thought. Nah, let's not do that. As much as it's funny. Oh my. You and your friends truly are special. No wonder you are the ones to hold the Eternity Forge. It is an honor to be among you. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. <laughs> who should we try on first? Uh... Actually, Groot. Let's try on Groot. I don't know how he feels. I got just the one. love and affection for everyone in this room. I am Groot. Oh, not everyone. Some of you he has mixed feelings about. <clears throat> he is pleased that someone can understand his true feelings. Mantis is an empath, Groot. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. 
That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho Hala for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? She knows, she knows about the Eternity Forge. She says she's connected to it. That's supposed to make me less confused? Oh, I can explain. Long ago... Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. The answer is magic. It's always <laughs> magic. And that of is good enough for me. Her story might be important. Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. <laughs> Enlighten us. Of course, yeah, it's time Peter for Quill. a nap. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life <laughs> energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, boy, 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 boy. So I was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited and waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Kree decided that no culture had matured enough to use the Forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the Forge and I were separated, locked away until a time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well, thanks a lot for that, Pete. How interesting an education. <laughs> what an interesting and relevant story. You glad we heard it all, champ? Someday, Quill, I'm gonna blast you out an airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important part. Kill me. There is a legend of the Celestial One, the Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One, what are they like? Advanced intellect, emotionally mature, wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires to choose for the greater good you got the wrong guy i think you got the wrong guy here i'm just a kid from earth it does not matter where you were born it only matters what you do you are the celestial one peter oh you're so full of crap lady if Pete is this celestial what's it, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back, but when we tried to use it again on someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated. I am growth. Ah, well, that explains Hollis' delightful corpse collection. She'll bring them all back if she gets the forge. Fantastic! So it's incredibly useful to our worst enemy, but useless to us. It can be made more useful. How? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the sacred shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone from any time period back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined, though I do not know why. That seems ill-advised. Well, let's unlock this thing. You should know, this power comes with a price. <sighs> Saw that coming. Life energy cannot be made. It must be transferred. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? 
Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. Am Groot. I Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, <laughs> maybe something got lost in translation. Do you speak hey, Groot? Hey, don't try understanding I am Groot all the time. Those three words can mean anything. I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry. I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. No cost is too high. Wow. Uh... Okay, this is, uh, <laughs> it's a lot to process here. Kind of heavy on the responsibility, you know? It's... Let me think on it. <laughs> oh. well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been. But with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha. Stay silent. Please, stop. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you doing? I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Let's talk to these them first hey bud what's up well if it ain't captain indecision what are you I I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here quill I mean I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back someone they love I am Groot I see your point. I do. And who knows, maybe you're right. Look, I'll think about it. Good. Think about it long and hard, Pete. We got this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We shouldn't pass it up. Hey, Pete. You know, you know what you... You know what you... Well, that's one way to deal with emotions. I am brute. Not really a healthy way to deal with emotions. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. All right, let's talk to Drax. Drax, how are you doing? I was angry that you did not allow me to guard Nebula. But that... But now, I am hopeful. The Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that. Even if the tree did not mind. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. I just wanted to get to know everyone better. We're all so secretive. We should, we should open up more. Secrets should be shared willingly, not stolen. Whoa. That was, uh... That was really deep, Drax. Her well, ability 
to see into our emotions. It must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. A little deep. All right. Fine. 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 Great. What happened now? Hey, are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while. Ugh. She won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. Don't give up. Don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know. I'm really trying. But I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe... Maybe if we had more time. I could try talking to her again. When she's calmed down. Give her some space. Without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe yep. I can get her to hang around. Just maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. Uh-oh. We need to fix her. Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? <laughs> mind if cool. I sit? Yeah, this is, uh, this is really. How's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks. I guess. <laughs> Let's amuse her with this line. Oh man, you were awesome. And you only had one arm. Well, yeah. <laughs> nice to know someone appreciates my skills. Gamora never could. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? Mm. She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Alright, time to see the other version. The other story behind it. As they say, there's always two stories. Now, behind one story, there's always two. I don't know how they said that. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see what happens. We Oh, we're back here. Is everything alright? Alright, this should be interesting. What's going on? Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Nebula, my favorite daughter. Oh, Father. what a load of baloney. 
Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. Gamora is a good teacher. I owe all my knowledge to her. And yet you emerged the victor. You have clearly outgrown her teachings. There is something you must you know ugly about bastard. Gamora. She said she would not disappoint me. But I am not so sure. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I know she's been difficult, but Gamora won't fail you, father. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Where she fails, you thrive. Father, I need Gamora. She's my teacher. And my sister. You underestimate yourself, Nebula. This mission will prove that. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Oh, shoot. Now I understand. How are you gonna plan on taking down that shield, Nebula? Ow. There we go, the shield did went down. Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Nebula. Father. You don't need Gamora anymore. And neither do I. Oh, if you don't crap. get rid of her, I will do it myself. Huh. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Fine, here. Going to be okay. Is it done? What's going on? That explains a few things. What are you making him see? It wasn't over. Your last you showed me your last mission together. I tried to show him what really happened with Tarval, but you interrupted us. 
I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. But you naturally assumed the worst. What do you expect after everything that's happened? Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own gut. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin Gamora, I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only yep. he'd make you suffer. It's true, Gamora. I saved your Admit life! Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me by killing If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know? I even checked your pulse just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did. I'm kind of believing her here, Gamora. If she hadn't fake killed you, I'm... Pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. Hmm. It's possible. I don't know what to believe. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. Oh, so you finally agree with me about something. What a surprise! I'm just as surprised as you. We all agree. I figured you'd face. disagree with me just because that's what you do. Well, I'm not used to you saying anything I'd ever Maybe agree you with. just aren't listening. If I'm not, there's probably a good yeah. reason. And that reason is that you oh, don't the listen. God. Logic is completely circular. Guys! Guys! Stop! You both want the same thing! He's actually right. It happens sometimes. Uh huh. More than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could give each other a chance. All right. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay. Let's go. Welcome to the crew, Nebula. My favorite assassin sisters. <laughs> wow, that'd be a pretty rad band name. Hey, Peter. Give me one second. I'll meet you in my room. Sure. Quill. Thank you for talking to Nebula. It means a lot to have her here. It gives me hope. Uh, what are you... Come on, lean in. <clears throat> this is your one Ow! opportunity. Hey! What? Oh, is that a dagger? Is it? What do you got? A throwing star? There? Whatever. You got something pokey on your hip. I do not usually hug. <laughs> That's why I take the advantage. Friend, Peter. Take great pride in yourself. What? For someone who is so sad. <gasps> you are a very nostalgic person. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, whoa, what's the matter? Why, why are you crying? Why am I crying? <laughs> <laughs> you little <laughs> so much sorrow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for that. 
Sometimes emotions overwhelm me and reflect back onto others. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> okay. Everyone on this ship is so poisoned by their feelings, overly well. focused on the past, not living here in the now, experiencing all the wonderful things around you. But to escape the past, well, it's hard to let go of the past makes you who you are. I can see that, but I don't want to be defined by what came before. Everyone should be able to correct the course they're on. Thank you for letting me listen to your music. It made me feel better and worse at the same time. I loved it. Da, da, da. Just want to check. Drax, Earth, and then a bunch of other stuff. No need. Messages. Howard the Duck. Uh. Yondu hosting a barbecue. Before once I am playing for my. Yes, I don't want your crew and where those new. <laughs> Rooks, uh, it brings me great sadness. I subject a uh, da da da. Re, we're sorry you active account. Yondu again. Never again. <laughs> Pete, I am too pleased with you. The mess you and your crew left over at my safe house. Dead leaves and er for everywhere. You know my r ravagers got allergies. They're very particular too. This is the final time I stick my craw out for you. Tell Gamoran very <laughs> Okay, uh, hilarious. Drax. I am increasing my worth by training to become a technical warrior. From this point forward, you will be able to communicate with me without the use of your vocal cords. I haven't seen the messages. Oh, another one from Howard. Sorry, and Rocket have been returning my calls. What's the matter? Blah, blah, blah. Something not important. Pleased to meet you. Oh, this must be before. Before the whole mess, root. He forward something. Hmm. And uh, core cosmos. Oh, rocket! I forgot. This is when you were going. To, how are you? Hey, how is it going? Having a good day. I'm really happy that you're checking your messages <laughs> instead of calling. Just calling. Back when we had to make that choice. Hey, Francis. Can you direct me to that magic shrine thing now? Of course! But it is a long way, and I must concentrate completely. There can be no... There can be no distraction... I didn't know it would do that! <laughs> oh, you have made an awe-inspiring man. Distractions. I'll see uh -oh. what I can do. Music montage. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Nebula just uh, feeling extremely comfortable. Friendly arm wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny, no one can do it. Um, what? How did she got out, out there? And they're still trying. <laughs> oh, there goes Rocket. <laughs> And he's the winner. <laughs> we finally found the planet. The entrance to the shrine. This is it. Oh, Yay! Right here. Another temple! <sighs> <sighs> the Kree were not only skilled warriors, you can find great symbolism in much of their architecture. Yeah, yeah, they like pretty things. We get it. Now what, Pete? Mantis? Any pointers? It appears that the forge goes there, on the altar. Now what? Seriously? Well, that was anticlimactic. Massively anticlimactic. It's not working. No, one is in the other direction, and one's going down. Must be something else to it. Guys, have a look around. See if you can find anything that looks off. Of course something's wrong, because we're in a frickin' Creed temple, where everything is always more complicated than it needs to be. 
mean, ain't they ever heard of an on switch? Okay, um... Let's fix the aim. some help with the lens thingy. Okay, okay. I am Groot. Don't worry, Groot. I'll try to be fast so you don't have to hold it for like a long, long while. Yeah, good job, buddy. That forge is going to be resurrected in no time. I am Groot. He says you might destroy it. That he hopes you do. Is that really what he said? One more to go. Something tells me it's not going to be easy. It's broken, obviously, so... Okay, let's see. This big guy used to stand here, holding up that giant whatever-it-is thingy. Then things go bad. Age sets in. Oh no, I dropped it! Ah! <laughs> so where did it go? There it goes! <laughs> it is a hologram. You are so stupid. Shut up. I knew that. <laughs> so bounce off over here. Oh, great. What now, Celestial One? Jet boots overheated. How do you? Drax, I need your muscles. You cannot have them. They are attached to me. No, I know they. Uh, I need your help. I've got to lift something very heavy. Ah, I see. You are weak. <laughs> I will. I am ready. Hey, Rocket! 
I need you to grab that lens. Nah, getting crushed to death ain't on my list of to-dos, Pete. <laughs> I'm sure if you just reach really hard, you, you could get it. Maybe dislocate. We'll never be able to use the forge if we don't get that lens. Right, on it. Yep, got ya. When I get smushed, I better be first in line for some resurrection. <laughs> Pretty impressive, actually. Here. Uh, thanks. Interesting. Stop. But there is still no statue upon which to set it. I would have gotten the lens, guys. I was just, you know, working up to it. Yeah, right. Yep. We just got to you know, work together. Oh, you mean like a team? What a novel idea. Yes, teamwork often brings good feelings. Hmm. Perhaps we are doing it wrong, Ben. Okay, listen up. I need everyone over here. Nope, not gonna happen. Just a little higher. My arms can't go any higher. My muscles are soft. Shut Can up. Guys, stop talking. Like a baby's bottom. Shut up. No! That's my face! I'm a very fat baby. Sorry. Hey, what do I know about whatever you are, anatomy? <laughs> Idiots. Maybe your oh, shut will up. enjoy having their faces step. There we go. Good job, team. I'm gonna take the dynamite to all of them. Now it is truly time to decide. Oh, okay. Turn the forge to the left to destroy it forever. Turn the forge to the right to empower it and bring it to its full potential. His right or your right? Oh, hmm. I don't know. What? what? Let me see. Wow. I can't believe that almost happened. Turn it this way to destroy it. Turn it this. Yeah, we got it. Turn it to the right, Pete. It's left, Peter. You want your left. Peter, you must turn it left. No, it's right to empower you, idiot. Oh, yes. Go right, Peter. I am Groot. Destroying the forge is the only way we can keep it from hurting people. Don't listen to her. Think of your mom. Think of Lila. I am Groot. Shut up already. He's gonna use it. I promise you my undying loyalty. If you bring my family back to me. Don't you see, Peter? Everyone wants this power, and no one should have it. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have them power. I'm sorry. But if the Forge can bring back the people we love, it's worth any risk. As you wish, Celestial One. Alright. Turn it to the right, and let's empower this thing. Because, to begin with, I might have made a bad choice at this point, but I want to bring back their loved ones. Don't Try to do something good with it. So much for guarding the galaxy. We are no better than Thanos. Don't bring your daddy issues into this. Watch it, vermin! Do not threaten my friend. Pete did the right Says thing. Says the raccoon who has no Don't more call me a raccoon. I'm looking out for life. Process has begun. Dead, you can release it. After you murder someone to bring her back. Oh, 
You're gonna give me crap about murdering someone? Uh, you worry crap. I'll take your place as the galaxy's number one murderer? Rocket! I am through! It is over. We won. No, we just lost. How can neither of you see that? Guys, we got company! Thank oh, you, Peter Well, Quinn. perfect timing. I never could have found this shrine without you. And the tracking device genes are placed on your ship. You know, I didn't think you could get more annoying than that time you killed me. <laughs> you really suck. Their usefulness has expired. Dispose of them. Enough of this. God, boots are more busted than I thought. How you like me now, huh? <laughs> huh? No, 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 no! <laughs> I'm sorry to have made you sad. Yes. <laughs> oh, we should do this. <laughs> Looks like the boys could use some help. This won't be easy. Hope not. None of this is doing any effect. I got 
Got it! No. <laughs> oh, Nebula. I'm okay. <sighs> and we just gave her the power. I probably should have just destroyed it. But this is all on me. <laughs> There's something wrong. One life had to stay dead because otherwise that wouldn't make sense how everyone's alive and your son's alive. Yeah, that wouldn't make any sense. Huh, more than a feeling. Let's see, what did they say? Fight the bully. Uh, you used your words against the bully. Let Nebula win. Convince Gamora to make up with the Assassin Sisters. Cyborg on board. So a bunch of people did want in Nebula to stay. And here's where I made the opposite of what the majority did. Hmm. Let's see how this ends up. All right, next time. So now Mantis is tagging along, but she's only creating more questions than answers. About the Eternity Forge, about Hala, about everything. Janitors of the galaxy, that's what we should be called. And Hala and the Kree, well, they're just the latest cosmic spill. Huh. <laughs> I am Groot. Ah, uh, Groot is mad. And disappointed at us. I am Groot. Peter handed Hala everything that she wanted. Well, it seemed like a good idea. It did. It's what happened next that he should regret. Alright, well, that's the end of the episode, everyone. Ah, who needs it? Of course. Two left.
Alright, well, I'll see y'all next time. Laters.